Hey everybody, this is Jim King. I'm out here in Odessa, Missouri. Um, we got a call from some people that live out of state that purchased, purchased this home and uh, they wanted me to come look at the foundation, which is what I'm doing. Um, some things that they didn't notice when they looked at the house briefly when before purchasing it is they've got footing failure and I'll explain what's going on here using the laser level. I could visually see that they had footing issues here. Um, if you follow me in here, I think they were just wanting, hoping that this would just be a waterproofing project, but it, I, I can't lie to anybody and I gotta let them know what's going on. So what's happened here? Um, this foundation wall, this home was built three pours of concrete. The first thing they did when they built this house was take a bulldozer and dig a square in the earth. And then after that, step two was they came up with a backhoe and a, with a two foot bucket on it. They dug a trench where the walls are gonna be built and they poured the footing. The footing is two feet by eight inches thick. And it's underneath the wall and you can't see it, but it's about four inches below my foot. So they poured the footing and let that set for a few weeks couple of weeks and then they come and drill holes in the footing about two foot apart and they run vertical number four rebar and then on that vertical number four rebar they run horizontal rebar and then they'll set their Simons forms up on the outside of the rebar and they'll pour the wall and after they do that they gravel the basement floor put in the floor drains whatnot and they concrete the floor up to the wall as you see right here so the floor is sitting on one third of the concrete footing. So when you have for sure footing failure, that it's hundred percent, you will have like this crack right here. Okay. And I'm going to set my laser level up in here and I will show that the measurement right here is much deeper inch wise than it is right here. If the footing had not failed, this floor would not be going like this. It's an exaggeration, but it's tilted. So now let's go in here. You've got the same thing on the floor in the other room, except the difference is it's not diving down. Therefore, it's just a crack on the subgrade and the floor. Concrete is rigid, it has no flexibility, it will crack in time. Look at my skin. Time. Cracks. Okay. So right here, you can't see it because they've got the floor covering over here, but here's the crack. It runs in there from the room I just showed you in the garage, all the way through here, right here it is. And the, it goes up, you can, I don't know if you can see it with the camera, but it goes up about three quarters of an inch. And it runs from that end to this end. So I told the guy that owns the house, I hate to bring you bad news, but the backside of your house needs piers. So I'm proving it to him with this level. Stay tuned. Here, I'm gonna show you this right here. So right here, this is self-leveling level. It's showing right at nine inches from the floor to the laser, okay? Now I'm gonna go on the other side of this crack, which would be right here. And it's showing seven and a half inches. So actually, this crack is doing this, that is lower than this. And that's not really a good sign because what that is, is you've got a center horizontal load bearing beam with vertical beams coming down, sitting on the floor. And what's happened is, is that pressure has caused the floor to boop, just like that. So really what they need in here, a long, if this is the high side, I don't need to peer it. If this is the low side, you could actually feel it drop in your feet. So that beam is right here. It's 
sitting on a beam pocket in the wall. You can't see a horizontal beam here yet. It's just two by fours. Part of this basement's finished and part of it's not, so it's hard to determine where exactly everything is. That was weird. I was expecting that measurement to be like way like 11 inches, but it was opposite of what I was thinking. That's why laser levels are so important. That way you're not lying to somebody. Um, here's the beam. vertical beam. You got that beam right there that wasn't built in this, wasn't, this has been put here probably when this channel was put in here. So they've had problems on this part of the house. This right here hopefully is the only part that's going to show the sinking. So I'll be right back at the laser level. Tracy, come over here and video where the door is and look at the laser level line. You can tell it's visual. So anyway, let's go back to this. We're going to start off here where the floor is good. There's hardly any cracks anywhere. And I'm reading, I don't know what that says. It's right at two inches. So what's happened is the center of the house is the problem. It's not the, it's not the let's look at it right here. six holes all the way through it. Not a smart way to do it, but it was done this way. And they are tight, they're very tight to the wall. underneath it and hydraulic jacks sitting on the floor with a six by six tree of wood support beam three foot from this three foot from this support the beam take this out saw cut the floor two by two square jackhammer dig down for a two foot by two foot square two foot thick footing with high string concrete let it set for about 72 hours leave the temporary supports in when you're done come back and put a new a new uh, vertical beam in but over here, wow. Someone's jackhammered the floor here. This beam here, they were just, they're just sitting on the floor. Yeah, you're four inches there. 
So, anyway, thank you for watching. This is King Piers out in Odessa. If you have a home that you're wanting to buy, you should be smart and call us first. That way you're not stuck with something that's going to be a money pit. We'll let you know what it's going to cost to fix it and make it King Pierce strong. 816-288-4373. You can go to my website, kingpiers.com.